I'll give him a minute. I'll wait till 501. Waiting? Peter, that's not like you. Oh, okay. Well, we'll get started now and continue when he gets We'll see when he gets here. Hello, everyone. Uh, B-Hill said he wasn't able to make it. Uh, where, I don't know where Card's at. So, uh, last episode I picked Persona. It is about a nurse who comes over to care for former actress who's gone mute. Uh, what did you think of this film? Um, so, it was very bizarre, like, um, <laughs> yeah, it, of, um, um, it felt a bit modernist, like, uh, I don't know, like, very arty. Yeah, um, main, I, yeah, this movie's kind of arty, mainly in that prologue. Yeah, the, the so the prologue, uh, I mean, I don't, oh. I, I think, um, I think, uh, what was it, um... Uh, Fight Club made reference to it, maybe reference to this. Oh one yeah, in yeah, because of the dick's place. Big. Yes. Dick. Yeah, it's like right in the start. Like, there's that scene where, like, um, you know, you're basically like in a film club, and like, uh, I don't know, just a dick randomly appears on screen for <laughs> a split second. May. Um. Well, it's um. interesting though. Oh, here's... Why are my messages taking forever to send? So I read up some, uh, on the theme section of the Wikipedia page. Interesting comparison. One professor compared these two characters to Jekyll and Hyde. Do you agree with that? Um... Yes. Um... I feel like this is spoilers for the end of the film. Yeah, well, there is, um, this discussion well, I mean, is spoiler territory. That, like, quick. Um... So, I feel like they're the same person, like, um, which is what the uh, end of the film kind of reveals a little bit. Yeah, um, like, there's I, I think, some I think connections there's throughout can... the film where they, they, there's, like, so, like, towards the start of the film in the hospital, everything looks like a film set. Like, absolutely everything. If you notice, um, like, oh. everything looks, everything looks fake. Yeah, because uh, it's like um, very no decor, very minimalist. No, de no decor. The only decor that hap that that is there is like what's important for the scene. Like everything else is kind of just um, not present. Like, um, at, like in one moment there's a radio, then like in the next moment the radio just disappears. Then there's a TV. Then there's a window that appears out of nowhere. But otherwise, the only like kind of constants are the bed and the um, the doorway that the nurse. I actually kind of didn't walks notice of. the uh, inconsistencies. Could you catch? Um, so, I so I definitely think like um, there's a um, a level of um, just you know um, surrealness in the first part of the film. Uh, in the first part of the film. Then once they head into the holiday home, everything looks a bit more. Um, I don't want to say naturalized because there's still there's still some hints of weirdness, but it's not as prevalent. Oh. And I think um, towards the end of the scene where um, she's the woman's getting filmed, like um, you know walking away. Uh, I think the actor woman is the one who packs the bags. And then the uh, the nurse woman is the one who takes the bags away. So it seems like um, it was just the nurse, like kind of having a bit of a breakdown and um, developing this actor persona. <laughs> oh, that is a good I mean, read. Yeah, I was thinking me, that because like, like she literally lectures her other self about the about getting abortion because you ranted about getting abortion. And also, there's the picture yeah. of the boy. I think that might be who she got pregnant from. Really? To read into, yeah, I, I, th I think, I think, um, I think it was both scenarios, right? Like, um, I think both scenarios happened. She had the abortion, and then she had the child. Yeah, like that child's um, like hand was on, being put on around. the picture of the woman. See, I think. Oh, the child from the start. You think the child from the start is the one? Is the yeah, he, he also the appears in the end. Uh, 
I didn't make that connection until now, but that seems uh, pretty likely. Like, I, I, I'd buy that. So, did you have anything to say, Alucard? Uh, so I was thinking about it, and to me, it's like the actress is the one that's real, and it's not real. The actress, uh, research part maybe, uh, the part maybe the nurse, but she's also reflecting on something that did happen to her. Uh, it may have been an orgy with uh, some film people, and she did get pregnant, did want to have an abortion because it wasn't her husband's son, but she decided to have him anyway. Probably hated him because of the sin that she committed. Um, you know, doing that, having that affair behind her husband's back and whatnot. Um, but, you know, I guess she she gets over it. She finds that she is really like that nurse character. That's what she really is like, that she did want to have uh, a kid. Uh, so that's how you see at the end, you see the, the lady uh, leave, the, the, um, the nurse leave by herself. It's like that side, you know, of her leaving. So basically the reverse of what we we were thinking. Yeah, basically the reverse of what you guys were thinking. That's what I think. Yeah. But again, I mean, you can look at it whichever you want. <laughs> oh, definitely. I think it's uh, it's it's um, open ended. Mm. Yeah, but there's a lot written. Like the one guy said, you can have two people contrary to the other, but they both could be right. <laughs> right. Um, but it does have to do a lot with yeah, with personas. Oh yeah, I got mantle. Nice. Yeah. Oh, let's see what else. Could I ask? Oh, yeah. what did you think of that part where just the film just burned out? In the middle. Um, maybe a mental break. Um, because the film does seem to degrade weirdly after that. Yeah, because like they de- then that's where we get the whole interpersonal con- talking. For that, it like, just yeah, felt like they're two like, separate. The, the then two, the two, after the burn, I think the two personas, the two women, starts like confront each other a bit more. Yeah. So I feel like there's some kind of like breakdown. At that point, yeah, I do feel like the the bit of the start is maybe played off for um, more of a shock element to kind of disturb the viewer. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, than, uh, yeah, like anything meaningful. There's well, like you know the crucifixion, the um, the spider showing up, um, um, the the goat being gutted. Well, it could be reflected the work the actress was doing beforehand. That's like she could be able, but like I don't think so. I think it's just uh, I think it's just there to disturb the viewer and kind of like <laughs> yeah, I kind of doubt that. Film. That would be really weird. <laughs> well, it's just like cinema, right? It's just a collection of different things. Be in the film, maybe it's showing that. That's like uh. A film rolling, doesn't it? At that point. Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah, I think I think that's uh, pretty much uh, sums up. At one point, the my... film like you know uh, burns out together. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Oh, I'm um, looking for you, Paige. Uh, some people wrote there's about symbolism of vampirism. Oh, the the weird blood sucking scene at the end. Mm. Oh yeah. yeah um, I mean, maybe like maybe like maybe she's um visualizing fueling her persona with like her blood, and it's draining her. <laughs> And maybe it's a metaphor, but like that's uh too deep for me. 
I mean, I'm just a simple guy, you know. Guy shoots, go and kills, bad guy. And <laughs> the times are hard, but uh, you know, the, the, this uh, this film asks for a bit more, I think. Yeah, uh, you know, they make for more interesting discussions. That's why I picked them. Yeah, no, I, I mean, I like it's interesting to theory craft, but like, I I can't really like say anything with a uh, any um definite assertion. You know, this is what this is what the uh, the filmmaker um, I believe the filmmaker had in had had for his vision. Hmm. Really hard. Uh, do you have anything else to add? If not, we can go to Q and A. This is a pretty decent discussion, I feel. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm okay with it. All right, Q and A. Anonymous asks, happy birthday, Peter Afro. Uh, you, you have to wait eight more days for that. <laughs> oh, shit, that's right. It's... Yeah, he's coming up. Oh, yeah, that's it. So, that's... Alucard, what are you picking for next episode? Post there. There, I'm picking Salem's Lot. Salem's Lot? Yeah. Never heard of that one. No, oh, yeah. A brand new film for us to watch that Peter Afro has not heard of. You know who has heard of this movie, though? Uh, Brandon? Yeah. Is it a, um, a... Stephen King novel. Stephen King. Oh, yeah, he definitely knows it's Stephen King. Yeah. <laughs> oh yes. But it's uh, I don't know how the film is. It's an, it's old, but like like the book's really good. It's really, really good. I have high hope for this. All right. It is three hours. <laughs> oh, big that. one. Uh, oh, it's a mini series. Uh, my body is ready. Yeah, it's uh, two episodes, I think. I I downloaded. Well, yeah, the total I, run. I, uh, yeah, the both of combined the make up three hours and twenty minutes. Yeah, I think that might be with like, extra shit. Because the thing I procured was like three hours and some minutes, not. All right, well, uh, looking forward to that then. All right. Good episode. All right. Yeah, I, I kind of went hard this episode, I feel like. I don't know, it engaged me a lot more than I thought it would. <laughs> In any case, I'm going to jump back into the uh, voice chat with the guys I'm playing with. I'll catch yeah, you and I'm going to go play All some right, Bibli's Quest live on stream. Nice. All right. All right, guys, we're going to play some Mabobo.